Queen of Diamonds, congratulations. Um, tell me, how did this film come to be? Well, okay, so uh, I often write a screenplay for any series of paintings that I do. So I'll uh, put that screenplay together after an idea, then uh, pull together a whole you know, team of actors and so on and shoot it. And the way this came about is I had an opportunity to shoot at the Ritz Casino. So I pulled together a team of people and I wrote quite a quick little story, little synopsis really, to put something together. And I developed that into a screenplay. And then at the, uh, the Ritz, everyone was like, oh man, the screenplay, fucking you should make this into a film. And I've been thinking about it for a while. And I was like, oh man, I don't know, you know, I'm known as like the painting guy, you know, do I really want to make the film? And uh, did you see the film? Did you just get it? Like, okay, right. So you anyway, the, the point is that I was like, yeah, you know what, maybe I should try and do this and develop this screenplay a bit more and get like some really solid actors in and build a really good team of people around this project. So then I met Naeem, who's around here somewhere, and he's a proper film director, he's made proper films, and he enabled me to really see this as a, as a possibility of making a proper film. So once we got together, the project just started snowballing, you know, I knew some people, people like Sam Glanz and I'd used on a project before, um, and uh, Tana Hassan, you know, legendary actor, we've got like George on board, George is amazing, once we started building our team it just started snowballing, then the Ritz pulled out, they were like, no we can't have you filming a story about Diamond Heist at the fucking Ritz. So I was like, this is two weeks before, so we had to scrabble around and I managed to get like the PR from the Ritz to help me find a new uh, venue, which was the Westbury in Mayfair. So we filmed the whole bloody thing there. We did it all in like three days. It was like absolutely mad fast, it was super quick. Amazing team of people, you know, everyone was like, they knew that this was like low budget, let's get on it. And But because we had this, people that really believed in the story, you know, the, the screenplay I think sold it to them. They really got the idea of it. And that just enabled me then to like make this project in such a short amount of time so that I could then create this series of paintings inspired by that story. You say low budget, but it looks incredibly stylish yeah, to my eyes. Yeah. Um, I mean, it really captures what you do as an artist. It really captures that feel. Um, it's also very, very fast paced. It's very zippy. The editing is very, very strong. Um, I mean, what was it like for you once you made the film to then turn that into paintings? It's, it was hard, actually, because painting from... Uh, normally, I do film, but I mostly photograph, and I create quite dramatic lighting in my paintings. And with the filming side of things, I didn't have quite as much control over the lighting as I normally would have. So, once the film had been graded and everything, and then I had to paint from the stills, it was definitely much more difficult, you know, because normally I would, I would set things up, I would block actors in a slightly different way to create more of a dramatic composition. So painting from stills is a different story than painting from uh, actual photographs where you can really build like drama and, and push things around. So it was, it was much more difficult painting from just the stills, you know, to actually get the really, um, the same effect. I think I, I did actually bring some drama into these paintings from a really difficult perspective of taking stills from a film. Well, it's quite a skill to have. I mean, it's such the opposite way around of what most people would expect, isn't it? Um, and when the film was introduced tonight and um, they said, oh, these pictures, these paintings, they're going to bring the film to life. That's an interesting way to look at it. I mean, you've definitely done that looking around at this gallery. So do you feel pleased now that you're at the end of it and you've got this incredible you know, collection of paintings? I am pleased, but you know, this was the first time I've really done this. It was all a very, you know, it's a big experiment really. And I've had such an amazing time. I've learned so much that I feel that I'm just building all the time and trying to refine and, and figure shit out, you know? And I just love telling stories, whether I do that with a painting or a film or a, you know, a piece of writing or whatever it is, I just love that whole side of it, you know, I love that. So if I can do it in any particular medium, I get joy from it. So if this works or doesn't work, you've got to do it to get to where you want to go. You know, this the journey is always the biggest thrill for me. The end product, you've got no business deciding whether people like shit or not. It's not in your control. So you've got to love what you're doing or you're fucked, yeah. <laughs> you know, really. You don't know if it's gonna work. Fucking Scorsese's had flops, you know, so. Do you think that this experience has changed the way that you'll approach the next project? Oh yeah, everything I do, I'm learning all the time. You know, it's like, 
absolutely and I'm just thinking well what, what really worked what didn't really work what took too long you know all sorts of things you know there's, there's just so many ideas going through my head right now of, of the stories I want to tell from going on you know because I mean this finish finish this in shit when did we finish this like ages ago I've already started the, I've done the next shoot already I've done the next thing you know I'm painting the next show already you know so and now I've got ideas I've got screenplays that I'm writing as well in the background you know I'm trying to think what am I going to do long form short again you know everyone says it's got to be under 15 minutes you know for the fucking festivals I don't really worry about the festivals to be honest it's not really my thing I'm more worried about what's the story I want to tell you know how many minutes is that going to take Jesus it takes how many minutes it takes you know I don't want to be constrained by festivals Piranhas, you know. Will we see the Queen of Diamonds again? Because I feel like there's more story to be told. Oh, I've got this. I've got. I've got this synopsis for the feature. I just Tamo was like, "When are we going to make the feature?" And I'm like, "Oh man, I would love to, but you know, I don't know. It's, it's out of my hands. There's a lot of money needed for the feature. So we'll see. I'm not against it. We just have to see, right? I'll keep my fingers crossed because yeah. I'm interested to see these characters more. Ah. Thanks, man. Me too. <laughs> I love these characters. I'd love to work with everyone again. Such a great team, you know. It's really good fun. Well, thank you for your time. Um, really great to meet you, and congratulations again on the film and the paintings. Thanks, buddy. Thanks a lot, man.